Today's blog, I want to talk to you a little bit about hook selection, styles, colors. This is my basic hook selection that I take when I go offshore fishing. And this could be offshore for tuna fishing or even going to like the Coronado Islands where there's lots of yellowtail around. I'll take this box of hooks with me. And it's got everything in there that I could possibly need uh, down to a size two hook, you know, something like that, live bait hook. Sometimes I need that small if the fish are only biting anchovies. And you know, sometimes you need the big guys. It's a big circle hook right there. And this is a 3 0 circle hook. Use this kind of hook a lot. Just have a big selection. Carry some swivels just in case I need them. And these swivels here I use when I'm offshore using albacore feather. I just slide this on here. And then you just split the hook a little bit. And then you tie this straight onto your feather. The line goes right through the feather onto this hook. Normally, trying like a zucker type bait, a little albacore feather, and use the bearing, the ball bearing, so your hook can spin and not tangle up your line. Works out really good. This is the basic hooks. You should, anytime you head offshore, or you go fishing, you should have a selection like this. If it was just going to be local half day fishing, I'd probably have about half as many hooks, but I would still have a big variety of hooks different colors, different sizes, different styles. Just have them all like that. If you're not sure what hooks you need, you can always pick up one of my hook kits. We make a selection of hook kits. We got a, a surf one, an offshore, inshore, just a wide selection of hooks. And this is just the basic stuff that you would need, different styles, sizes, colors, that you would need for whatever type of fishing you're doing. But once you graduate past this, this is what you should be taking with you every time you go offshore. And you don't have to put hundreds of hooks in here. You can just put in like a dozen or so, but you need a good selection to take with you every time you go. And that's today's blog. All right, for more information, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and then always watch the show every Saturday so you can see what we're catching, what we're doing. Thanks for supporting me and watching the program, and I'll see you on TV this Saturday.